are you ready to fuck up a couple of bananas with me today? Welcome back to another Tasty Blender 2.81 tutorial. Today we're gonna play with soft bodies again. So we're gonna continue from our last tutorial. We're gonna do a bit of soft body and rigid body collision type of playing testing. So let's get into it. I've opened a brand new project. Uh, basically, you want to get your banana into this project. Now, how you can do that, just go to File, go down to Append, choose the project where you were working on your bananas, and then go under the Object Files and select your banana, and that's going to import it inside. I, will, I also taken the liberty to just organize it so it's right in the center. We're going to just offset it by just a bit so it's a bit outside. Now in this one, we're actually going to animate the banana and a object so that when the banana collides with the object, it basically bends around the object and falls down. So what we're going to do, just make an obstacle, we're going to make a plane as a background and we're going to set up the camera. Okay, let's start with the background. We're going to go to add a plane, just rotate it on the x-axis, scale it up like so, and then scale it on the z-axis just to be sure. Yeah, like so. We're gonna add a cylinder next. We're just going to rotate it by 90 degrees like so, and we're gonna pull it out like so. Now press S, Shift, Y, so you can scale it on the Z and X axis, and we're gonna scale it to about, let's say about here. Go into edit mode, pull this edge a bit further out, let's say to about here. Now go into object mode and control A to scale. This is very important because we're gonna bevel this edge over here. I'm gonna do it like so, and yeah, about there seems right. I'm gonna go back here, just going to press this, and we're gonna bevel this one too. Just gonna give him a couple of less bevels. Okay, add the subdivision modifier, let's say about so. Yeah, this seems, this is okay for now. Let's go into the physics tab and we're gonna a tab and we're gonna add a collision. I'm gonna put the collision before the subdivision modifier, like so, so it doesn't calculate all of the edges. We're gonna move this banana up, let's say to about here, and this is about it. Okay, next up, add a camera, let's shift A at the camera, choose the angle that you'd like to see it from, and then press Control alt 0 on the numpad. And basically what happens is it's going to position the camera from the point of view that you were viewing it. Go into orthographic to get that like nice isometric view. You can also use the 5 on the numpad to get like a better understanding of the scene. I usually go into dimensions and then just correct the dimensions to be 1080 to 1080, so it's something like this. We can also scale the background to the x-axis like so, so it basically covers everything. Don't forget to check render region here, so it renders only the things that are inside the camera. Okay, next up we have our banana. So we're going to animate our banana. Now this banana already has the soft body settings from our previous project. Now, we're gonna delete those and set up a whole new soft body collision. We're gonna add a soft body. We're going to deselect gold so our banana falls freely. Now we're gonna set the edges and the self collision. The self collision is one of the, let's say, important parts in this type of simulation because it basically sets the object not to collide with itself when it's falling or when it crashes into an obstacle. So basically this one we can set it at an average calculation type and we set it to ball size of 0 0.18. You can also drop down the stiffness a bit and up here we're going to increase the bending to about 5. I usually just go with the middle value and then correct it from there. Push-pull I usually get good results from 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 
Okay, so let's take a look at how this one performs. So as you can see, it's actually a really nice bounce. It's really good, but the only problem is that it clips through our background. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a collision for the background too. Uh, we'll leave the thickness as is, but we have to do one more thing. Basically, we go into edit mode and then we press E to extrude and let's extrude it on the Z-axis over here, like so. Press A twice, so you have everything selected. Control N to recalculate the normals, which is extremely important. And we restart our animation. Now, as you can see, our background actually repels the banana, so the banana actually falls as it should. And that's basically it. I would suggest that you work with uh, cache uh, in this case. So you basically bake your animation and then see the results then delete the bake, let's say apply some different changes, but just experiment with the values, especially with the pull and push values, with the bending values. Uh, take a look at also self collisions. You can try different settings if you want a sturdier, let's say a more gum like collision. This is about it for this tutorial. Uh, it's just a quick tip. Hopefully it helps you out. If you enjoyed this video, I really appreciate you dropping a like, uh, commenting or subscribing. That really helps me a lot. And thank you for watching this and see you in the next one. Bye!